The fastest five hours for you, Tesla held their investor day on Wednesday, March 1, 2023 and was about five hours long, so here is a recap of most of the topics covered. Covering the Elon Master Plan 3, Supercharging Update, Cybertruck, Gigafactory, Generation 3 Vehicle Platform. For reference, currently the Model 3 and Model Y we are on, are the Gen 2 platform, and last we'll cover is Tesla Power. Elon Master Plan 3 Sustainability. They, Tesla, said there is a clear path to a sustainable Earth, that doesn't use up as much resources as we currently do. As far as mineral extraction, Tesla says we are here today. If we transition to an electric economy, we would actually use less minerals and resources. Showing a path to eliminate fossil fuel need, starting with power generation and the electrification of transportation. To demonstrate EV efficiency, they compared the efficiency of a Toyota Corolla versus a Tesla Model 3. Supercharging update. Tesla is opening some superchargers to non-Tesla electric vehicles via what is called a magic dock that will provide the right port depending on who is using it via the Tesla app. There will be an optional monthly plan for $12.99 to get discounted rates. Similar plan from EVgo is $4 per month, but Tesla knows their supercharger network experience is superior to their competitors, especially where reliability comes into play. Tesla also announced a $30 per month unlimited overnight charging plan for Texas, taking advantage of excess wind power at night. The Cybertruck Electric Pickup Cybertruck is still on target for limited spring, summer 2023 production, full in 2024. Gigafactory Update Next Gigafactory location to be in North America will be in Mexico, near Monterey, in addition to expanding the current factories. Tesla Power. Our current energy economy is dirty and wasteful. Tesla Power has a lot of successes. Battery storage and solar are the two main parts of the business unit. It features for the home a product called the Powerwall Battery Power Storage Pack, and for utility scale storage, the Mega Pack, which are pictured here. The power division seems to have a tremendous amount of growth coming as they highlighted several big Megapack deployment successes, and highlighted the virtual power plant that can happen as more Tesla battery storage units are deployed. Gen 3 platform was only discussed in generic high-level terms. No explicit configurations or expected vehicle specs were shared other than it will substantially improve efficiency. They did hint at a Cybertruck-based SUV, this gives you many of the highlights that were covered during the nearly five hours of the actual event. Saving you the possible headache. If you prefer to get into the details, they are available by watching the full five-hour presentation. We are providing the link in the subscriber section of our channel. Please like, comment, subscribe and share. Was there something more you wanted summarized? Something you though we should have included? Let us know in the comments and thanks for watching.